everyone. Today we have Eat with us, who is the technical lead for the architecture components. So Eat, we know that Room was released as part of the architecture components. Tell us a little more about that. So Room is a new object mapping library that we are shipping inside architecture components. It takes out all of the boilerplate code you write to access your database and allows you to write SQLite queries. Moreover, it also verifies that compile type, so very similar to your Java code, if you make a mistake in your query, it's going to give a compile time error. So it's what Room is. Uh, what are the other advantages that you have with using Room? So Room is already observable out of the box, so it's very easy to write data-driven UIs. You have your queries that observe the database. Room will figure out when the result will change. You don't need to say anything else. You can just ask, ask Room to return an RxJava flow ball or a live data and it will do it. So it also works with RxJava? Correct, it also works with Great. RxJava. So where can people find Room now? So Room is available as of yesterday. At, uh, if you just need to add maven-google.com to your Gradle file, and then you can access Room today. And is it production ready? Can people use it in production applications as of today? Today, the Room is in Alpha 1 version. We believe you can start using it, but uh, we want to see how people use it. We want to see how the API usage patterns are. We might change the API, but besides that, I think you can start using Room in production today. Great. Thank you for your time, Eve. Thank you.